So I've spent, um, I don't know, dude, like another, like, ow, this hair has taken hours. Oh, I do this to myself all the time, and I just continue to do it my whole life, bite off so much. And then I get frustrated, and I'm frustrated. But, you know, frustrated about a few things this flat past week. And one thing, this morning I woke up, and it wasn't blazing hot in here today. It was 76. It's still 76. Manageable for now. We move this AC up and down the stairs in the bedroom, close the doors all night long. Long, pretty comfortable really really nice down here it just keeps it comfortable enough to hang out which is like fine I can deal with it one more day because the new AC is here tomorrow tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. there's a new AC coming up in this motherfucker that is nice uh, I tattooed yesterday a little lucky cat on mr. Toledo some random stuff coming up this weekend koala I haven't opened yet also I need to open it uh, but the real no oh, the real thing since the last vlog we ordered an exercise bike a lot of research on which exercise bike to get the exercise bike that I wanted to get works with Zwift and it works with Zwift on three different components you know it has your speed power and then the control and the control aspect of it is what controls like when you're going uphill you're going uphill when you're going downhill you're going downhill tension changes the resistance changes really cool shit so like when you can't go ride your bike at night this is the definitely the next best thing and it looks like it's a lot of fun and I really am excited to try it so me and Alex decided to get this bike we like think about it for a long time we weigh the pros and cons we budget it out we figure out how we're gonna do it finally I'm like all right cool let's order this thing it shows up now my dumb ass didn't realize the crate unscrewed and actually like try to tear the crate apart ridiculous shortly I realized it unscrewed and we unscrewed it and it came apart very easily really clever design I should have known better. I think the heat is fucking getting to me. So, we unbox it, we bring it in, I open up the Zwift, I start, boom, 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 try to get it going. It doesn't work. It works a little bit, like I can connect two out of the three, but I can't connect the control part, which is really the part that is, you know, the part I care about the most. I mean, I care about all three equally, but I want all three. So, I'm like confused as fuck, because I look online and I, all the references that I looked up that show that this bike does all three, everything I'm looking at is like, yes, it does it, yes, it does it. Then I find on Zwift's site that it says this bike doesn't do it. Long story short, my fucking dumb ass while looking got the model numbers mixed up and ordered the wrong fucking bike. Like, it's just the wrong bike. Like, I ordered the wrong fucking bike. When you Google stages SC3 Zwift compatibility, the first little, you know, the first thing you'll get is a website that is stages that'll show you that it's all compatible. Then if you look further, it's not talking about this bike. Even though you typed in SC3, it's not talking about this bike. It's talking about the SP2. I think that's what it's fucking called. And that's the bike that we wanted to get. So now, now, I, this is the fucking bike, so now, and it's a beautiful bike, like, it's great, amazing bike, but it's not what we wanted, and that's just not, not what we wanted. So now, I have to figure out how to return it, which is going to be fucking hell. Now, the site says that a return, you have to pay to have it shipped back, which means I have to get that thing fucking crated and ship it back. It's going to California. I honestly might just rent a fucking U-Haul and drive it to California myself. I, I swear to God, like, I'm so fucking just annoyed. I don't know what's gonna happen yet because I called, I talked to the owner who was very nice when I purchased the bike and I let him know like, dude, I need to return this bike. And he says he's gonna see what he can work out, but it's been a little slow getting back to me the last like 36 hours. So I don't really know what's happening. So really fucking annoyed and mostly just annoyed at myself. Like this is my fault. I just got confused, just got confused. I mean, I've already at least taken a $300 L because that's how much it costs to ship it. So for sure, 300 bucks for sure. Depending on what happens on the return part of it will depend on how big of a fuck L I'm actually gonna take on uh, the uh you know, the repurchasing. That's fucked. Uh, the drop is here. The new drop is coming soon. You already know. Bang's been there. The new drop. The new drop. So, yeah, it's uh, Thursday. This is what's going on. I gotta paint and I'm, Alex is gone. Alex is down on the strip with her friend who's in town because Alex is going out of town. She's going back to Denver to get the rest of our stuff. So, they're fucking gallivanting around and doing shit. I'm chilling here and just working, man. Just working today. Just trying to stay cool one more day. Trying not to lose my shit. It's been frustrating. This painting, I feel like the King Kong has taken over my life. I feel like chaos is ever since I started this fucking thing. And I've like summoned, or conjured the energy of King Kong. And it's just, I gotta finish this or it's just gonna take over. It's just gonna take over. It's like the Jumanji of paintings. And yeah.
We're on some Jumanji shit. I gotta finish. And I got other stuff to work on too. That's where I'm at. I can't go enjoy the outside. But it's also so fucking hot. I don't wanna go anywhere. It's so hot. I can't wait for this to end. I can't wait. It's gonna be cool when it ends. It's gonna be nice. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Good morning. It is 4.38 in the a.m. We are gonna fill up this water bottle. And we're gonna get on the bike. Ah, we've had some, uh, some developments in the other bike story. But I'll get to that later, because right now I need to go fill this water, go on the bike ride, come back and meet the AC guy. The AC guy's gonna be here at six. Good afternoon. They are still working on the AC. They've been here since 6 a.m. It is now two o'clock. It's 81 in the house. I just moved the AC downstairs. I've been hanging out in the room. We're doing work from the computer all day. So I'm down here now, hungry as a motherfucker. Food, koala collaboration this is not it this is something else i need scissors see all this other people's socks that i'm comparing my socks to new sock sample came in today they are much better and really comfortable so very soon where are the fucking scissors man hold up hold up Def ah scissors all right let's do the old one arm scissor at the drive-in, son. Ugh, one day I'm gonna stab myself. <laughs> Trying to film, I'm holding. Holding the box with my stomach. Using the fulcrum. Right, one day I'll stab myself. Ugh. Anything for YouTube, dog. Anything for YouTube. So this is the koala. Choppy. Choppy, chappy. I don't actually know. I've never heard him enunciate. Oh, look at this. It's like an Apple product. So they sent this out. This drop is tomorrow. This is, I think, their first figurine. The choppy OG. If you can't open one hand, you can't vlog it. Oh, this is spins. Damn, son. How many layers of protection does choppy have? Oh, it's pretty heavy. Nice. All right, so. Choppy figurine, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern on Koala's website. But by the time this vlog goes up, it's gonna be too late. I should do the official voice of Choppy. Yo, I'm a voiceover guy. Yo, me, Choppy. He's from Canada, so he's like, hey. I don't know how Canadians talk, really. French Canadian. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour, I'm Choppy. All right, so Choppy's going on the shelf. Godzilla and friends. All right. There he is. Oh, figured what better way to test the new AC than <laughs> come over really looked look like a fucking ridiculous person? Dude, you look ridiculous. I can't believe you fucking rode your bike here like that. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny thinking about you riding down the road and it just says hot sausage boys on your back. I know, I think of it all the time when I stop at <laughs> Oh, it's gotta be like the funniest thing ever. Dude, you're out of your mind. How's, it's the, like, how's it feeling here? Feels good. I've been here all day, so I don't know. Is, is it completely fixed now? Yeah, they put in a new one. They got here at 6 a.m. and they left at fucking 3 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, no. Man, you're looking fresh, dog. Kinda I can't like, get over this fucking outfit. Like, How long far did you ride? I mean, it's only four and a half miles, but it's oh, like yeah. 112 out of yeah, the sun. Fuck this that. is the hottest point of the day. It's just like. Yeah, fuck all that. You got any liquid death? No, there's 10, 10 cases on the way. <laughs> yeah, I got some. Let's see. Yeah, there's like a bunch on the way. Uh, I got Zevia, Coke Zero, anything. Whatever. That butane you got. Butane, liquid egg whites, whatever you like, yeah. Man. I brought a joint, but I got a. Mm. Gotta cool down first. Yeah, cool off, bud. Okay, Dirty Iron has left. The day is winding down. Uh, I don't really know. So, the bike has to go back. It's the wrong bike. I've been talking with the owner of the bike company, and how do I even explain this? Like, basically, we want a smart bike. I ordered the wrong bike. Uh, while researching smart bike alternatives, there's this bike, there's a different bike, there's the Wahoo. Garmin owns this other company, which is the other bike we're looking at which this guy sold me this bike, has this other bike. So I'm waiting to hear back from him to see if I can just return this, well I know I can return this bike, but return this bike and just get the other one and pay the difference. The big question is getting that bike back to California, but waiting to hear from him. And uh, yeah, that's, that's where we're at, waiting to hear from him. The AC is working, thank God I am going to paint, I have, King Kong's hair has taken, I don't know when the last time I updated, but King Kong's hair has taken quite a while. So now we got a lot of details and shit. All this is about to get a makeover. We're not even done up there. We got a lot, we got a lot. There's still a lot to go. There's a lot of things happening. Everybody's dropping socks. Oh, at the same time, I got JC's. I'm on the motherfucking seated list for Urban. It's because I know people. Let's see what the stance. Oh, the runs. Nine to 13, that's good. They'll fit at least. Oh, let's get the Fuel 360. Infinite. 
We have the Puerto Rican flag. I'm pretty sure that's a frog. I don't know why JC went with the frog. I'll have to ask him. These are cool. Shout out to JC for the socks, bro. I got that fucking hooked up, dog. Koala. You in? Socks. My socks came in today. We're doing shit. Everybody's doing shit. We're doing things. Everyone's doing things. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Bike ride in the morning. And I gotta take my bike ride to get the wheel dish. Ridiculous. And Alex leaves for Colorado tomorrow for like four days. It's an event. Everything is an event. Time to go. See ya. See you tomorrow. All right, good morning. Uh, this morning, early bike ride, swirly dragon tattoo. That's pretty much what we've done so far. I'm also pretty busy tattooing right now. Uh, my schedule is now open for September, September 5th to the 30th, wide open at this moment in time. So if you want to get tattooed, Teddy, tattoo me at gmail.com. This place crumble cookies. Now I've been, I wouldn't say I'm on a diet, so to speak. I'm eating whatever I want for the most part. I'm just not like, well, that's not true. I'm eating the items that I want. If I want pizza, I find a way to make myself a pizza that isn't like, you know, 4,000 calories or whatever and still get full. I mean, I'm not really trying to like gorge on sugar and all this crazy shit that just fills you, that doesn't fill you up and it's like a lot of calories, but Alex got these last night and I taste tested three of the four. I didn't touch that fucking bull bullshit sugar cookie. This chocolate crispy caramel cookie, it's a little much for me, honestly. The chocolate chip cookie's good, solid chocolate chip cookie for what it is and then the oreo cookie which is funny because it says mouth right there and i bit it that cookie is probably the best of the three this, there's no way this one's a contender got these got super hyped up by urn urn on the podcast tomorrow is probably going to bring them again now the cookies are good they're certainly good but they're a lot of, they're fucking three dollars a piece that's not that bad they are extremely extremely heavy food finish king kong draw I got a liquid death collab to work on. I'm fucking racking my brain over what I should do for it. It's not the easiest thing. It's like you finally get the freedom to draw these gnarly, crazy, fun things, and then you're like, fuck, I don't know what I want to do. And then you gotta actually decide what you want to do. Like I wanna do a skateboard. I wanna do skateboard like forever. Now I gotta decide what the fuck to put on it. That's the hard part. All right, party people, it's Monday morning. It's uh, 4.49 in the a.m. Earn left here last night from the podcast, uh, pretty drunk, but he said he's gonna be here at five for this bike ride. I don't think he's gonna come, so I'm just gonna leave, because I texted him 45 minutes ago, and I got no answer. Okay, good morning. It is, I'm pretty sure it's Monday? Tuesday, Tuesday, August 25th. So I tattooed basically for most of the weekend and worked on the painting a little bit. Got the drop in order, we have the drop coming. It's coming Sunday, probably at noon, my time. A action-packed podcast. Bike situation, we're still in the middle of it. And speaking of a lot of shit, I have a lot of shit to draw. I have tattoos basically like for the rest of the month. And I have to finish this fucking painting, which is not done yet. Still, we are like hundreds of hours into this painting now. Hundreds. So much more than I thought it was gonna be. And then, to add insult to injury, my fucking face. Yesterday was brutal. Like, yesterday was real, real brutal. My face, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I think it's my other wisdom tooth. I'm pretty sure it's my other wisdom tooth. Now, I know some of you were like, Teddy, you just went and got your wisdom tooth removed. I only got one removed. And you say, Teddy, that was fucking stupid. You should have got them all removed. I agree. I wanted to. But the way that the fucking COVID is set up at the time, I don't know how it is now, you could only get fucking tooth removed if it was an emergency. So, they could only remove the one emergency. They couldn't remove the other ones, which are now feeling like emergencies. I definitely thought I was going to the dentist this morning. I had an appointment. I have so much shit to do between now and basically September 4th that I can't, I can't. I just, I just have to play with the pain, dog. Like, we're just gonna play through the pain. That's the only choice we really got right now. We have an appointment set up for like the 8th because of Labor Day. So we just gotta make it to the 8th. That's all we gotta do. I think we can make it happen somehow. Just gonna manage the pain, manage the pain. Speaking of pain, these came in. Actually, I don't know if they're painful yet, but these did come in. I've uh, never really been, I mean, not to sound ungrateful, but I've never been like 
least excited for a shoe, I guess. I don't know. It, it, well, one, it got shipped to the wrong address, so I got all drama out. But yeah, I mean, they're here. They really feel really heavy. That's the first thing I noticed picking them up is that they're heavy as shit. Definitely not running this motherfucker. I obviously need to try them on and see, which I'm kind of fucking upset about because if I want to sell them, trying them on is going to, like, you know, reduce the price. But, uh, yeah, clearly I'm going to have to do this. Give them a test. I don't know. It's not looking good. I, I'm not, not that hype. It's just the old upper. The old upper with the new bottom. We'll see. Right now, I don't feel like doing it, so... I'll come back. We'll come back to that. Back to King Kong. My God. Let's get this done. All these people. We got most of the top done. Now we gotta get on the bottom. Still haven't tried these on. Uh, sample shorts. Well, swim trunk shorts. iPhone case. Uh, I gotta figure out other cases. Pencil bag. A few artists out there. You can also put other stuff. Uh, samples. Trying to get shit done. Still gotta try these on. Okay. All right, drinks, boom, crushing, liquid D. Wow. All right, now, we need to make a Sunny D, but liquid D commercial. You know, the kids. Hey, we got some soda, OJ, purple stuff, Sunny. <sighs> Urban necessity socks. Also could be a face mask if you wanted. Throw these bad boys on. The socks are on. The whole purpose of this experience is to try these on. Yes, finally review these. I don't have. I'm missing a pair of Ultra Boost. Like I know I have a pair left. I have one pair. I have the Havens, but I may have left them in Colorado. I wanted to weigh these up compared to the regular pairs, but um, I don't have a regular pair, which is so crazy. Yeah, so I can't. Cause I don't have any. I can't even remember, man. My life is a blur. So yeah, just the havens. These feel really heavy. Uh, I could be tripping. I mean, I know the Ultra Boost ain't exactly light. So I guess like I, it's weird to have these sitting here and not really be excited like whatsoever about them, you know? So they've been here for a few days. For the sake of whatever, you know, uh, what is this? Art, art. For the sake of comparison. Because again, like not to beat a dead horse, like Boost has been the best thing and this is literally like a copy. But then there's nothing that's been improved, you know? It's almost like it's been D per D improved it's got a cool look and this is definitely like a lot squishier than i think people thought yeah just it's not really that exciting it's not exciting me i haven't been excited about it like i normally would to try on something new because i don't really feel like i'm gonna get a better experience out of this than i did with an ultra boost for the first time since so i don't expect this to feel any better than ultra boost you know how we do we gotta loosen these laces like all the way up i y'all sit out a lot of y'all like to rock the football lace not me not me dog wow a little crazy, wild. Man, I've been doing a lot of shoes lately. Shoe things happening. Actually, there's really not much. I don't, think, I don't think this will continue. I don't really foresee myself buying any more shoes in the near future, but time will tell. Here we go. Brands never before tried on 4D. On the upper, it's tight, bitch. Whew. I mean, hey, God, tight is the name of loose, dude. Yeah, definitely, like, the laces are long as fuck, dog. I'm just styling, bro. Man, the upper is still comfortable. I can't really tell. I'm standing on the carpet. True to size, dog. People go and fucking trip and say all kinds of stupid shit, but they fit just like an Ultra Boost, to be honest. It's just a little tight getting on, which I guess it's been a while since I slid on a new UB. A new UB. This isn't one of them. I mean, they're not bad. I just don't know if they're going to be like this. Let's have to walk around. Let's see. Hmm. You laughing at? What's up? You laughing at me or Sophie? Adder. Uh oh. I'm trying to test these shoes, but it's impossible because I'm on carpet. Oh. Uh, well, why don't you go down? I think I gotta like walk around them for a few. Serious testing. I mean, they're definitely stiff and not bouncy. They look cool. I mean, they got a cool look. Adder, relax, huh? You know, the real test would be like Disney World or something. Okay, so I mean, it's pretty impossible to tell you how they feel after uh, just like walking around for a few minutes. I don't really know. I mean, I'm less disappointed in them than I thought I was gonna be. I can't tell that they're heavier. They definitely got me heavy. Like they're just more stiff and don't have like a response, but I really would like to be completely 
you know, thorough. I would have to wear them like a long period of time to really know. So uh, now I'm kind of stuck. Like I don't know what to do. I may just end up selling them off. I just don't know. But I may also end up just wearing them to find out if I give a fuck and give them a fair shot instead of just like a walk through the house and being like, oh, my preconceived notion is Boost is better and Boost is absolutely better. But I just don't know. It's weird. I think they look cool. Like I like the black 4D-ness and they definitely have like a more stealth look. Like it's got a more night stealthy look. So uh, trying to find nice things to say, even though I feel like this should have come out four years ago. Like if this had come out four years ago, like people were asking for this would have a totally different reception you know like my reception of this shoe when it showed up was it, like I'm just not excited and that's how I feel about uh, most shoes these days the few things I've grabbed have really intrigued me so I, I won't complain you know like as far as like what's popular these days it's not exciting you know uh, not not in the slightest I guess these are okay I don't know if what I would recommend you do I guess I would recommend you try them out if you're interested in trying them out which would be the recommendation all along for everybody on everything, almost. Unless something really sad. So they have come down in price. When they first came out, these bitches were like four and five hundred dollars. So they are coming down in price at least. And the resale on these is almost like non-existent, I'm pretty sure. There is that. I mean, most people don't care about any of this stuff anymore. Also, Adidas hasn't done a very good job of making anyone care about much of anything. The most like non-review review, that it feel, the upper feels like an ultra boost. The only difference obviously is the sole. Uh, someone asked me to compare these to the Future Craft. There's no comparison. I mean, there is no comparing the shoe to really anything other than the ultra boost. Interest may just be gone. The desire to flex vanished, you know? Like what, where am I gonna go? What, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Coronavirus. Got time to flex. Gotta stay safe, gotta stay safe.